Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a cloud brush or any type of brush. We can create a brush of this entire skyscape or we can cut out just one cloud. So with the lasso tool, L for shortcut, I'm going to select one of these clouds and duplicate it from this background with command J. Next, I'm going to trim directly around the image with image trim. And from our adjustment layers, I'm going to add a gradient map. We want this to be from white to black. If it's not, you can do the reverse. We do want the cloud to be black for this. Next, I'm going to adjust the stops so that the background is completely white. We do not want to see the cutout part. If you're doing a brush that looks okay with some of that mid-tones, then that's just fine. We go back to layers and I'm going to select both the gradient and this layer and duplicate it again with either command J or drag into this plus sign to work in a non-destructive manner. We can adjust this later if we need to. I'm going to merge the layers with command E and now we're going to go to Edit, Define Brush Preset, and name this whatever you'd like. You will see a number right here. That is the size of the brush in pixels. So if you are using this brush on a high resolution, you do want to make sure that your brush is created for something like that at a much larger scale. So here is our new cloud brush. If we test this out, got white selected for the brush. We can make the brush more dynamic with just a few quick changes. If we go to shape dynamics, we can adjust the jitter. And if you are using a tablet and drawing pencil, you can adjust your pin pressure. I'm also going to adjust scattering for both axes, X and Y axis. And this will determine how far apart those clouds are and the number of clouds with each paintbrush stroke. So you can see with one brush, we're getting multiple clouds. And you can see some of these are smaller clouds and some are larger. If you would like to save this brush to use on another computer or send to someone with the brush selected, go to the flyout menu and export selected brushes. And this will save a .abr file and it already knows to save it in your Photoshop application. And that's where you'll navigate to locate it. Or if you save it to your desktop, you can more easily find it. That way, when you go to import it again with the flyout menu, import brushes, here is your new brush. And it has created its own folder, so you could create a set of these. If this video helped you out, please like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.